YouTube. Yeah, I just woke up. So, and I still have my makeup on. Um, this video is going to show you how to do the morning after makeup. Yep, morning after I'm applying more makeup. Anyways, I got to get my contacts on. And it's kind of a hassle. Let's get started. Okay. Now to begin, I am going to pin my hair back just to get it out of my face to make it easier for me to apply my makeup. I'm going to use this oil free from Equate. It compares to Neutrogena. I got it from Walmart for like two or three bucks. And I'm going to use these cotton sponges. Put it on here. I'm just going to clean my face. Um, I'm not going to clean my eye because I'm going to reapply everything else on that. I don't want to redraw my eyeliner. So just cleaning my eyes, my chin, my nose, everything. Getting all that yucky oil off. So I decided to clean my eyebrows too because they're kind of faded out so might as well take them off too. I'm going to use this Daily Moisturizer which is my favorite. It's by Cetaphil. It has SPF 30 I think. I just put it around my face. I am going to put concealer using my favorite MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in NW15 and dab it around my eyes. Around all the zits that I have, yeah, I'm the type of person that likes to pop them. And I'm just going to start blending. I'm going to be using Rimmel Match in Pure Nude. I'm going to use a flat brush and I'm only going to apply a little bit of foundation. Kind of weird. Now I'm going to be going to my eyebrows. I'm using Anastasia brow pencil and Ash Blonde. One of my favorite eyebrow pencils. It actually works and you can easily take control of it when you draw, draw your eyebrows. I just outline the bottom of the eyebrow and the top. I'm trying to find something. Should have got all this stuff ready. I'm going to be using this Makeup Forever HD powder um, on top of my foundation that I use. And it comes with this brush. Uh, sorry guys, it's kind of dirty, but I'm going to use this fluffy brush, stab it, and just go around my face. I'm going to be using NARS um, for my blush. I'm, I'm going to skip contouring right now. Basically, this blush I'm using in Luster, it basically acts like a bronzer. So that's basically all I need. It's like a blush and bronzer in one. Next, I'm going to use this really forest green eyeshadow on my lids. I'll be just using a normal blending brush and just dab it. And I'm going to go across my whole entire lid with that green color. And I know I'm going over my eyeliner, but I'll fix that later. So I just have like a rainbow motion all over my lids. And I'm going to use the other end of the brush just to blend everything in and smooth out. I'm going to just be using a basic eyeliner. I can't even read the name of it, so I don't know. It could be any type of eyeliner you guys love. And just go over my eyeliner that I originally had. And next, I'll be using Maybelline the Colossal Volume Express for my mascara. I just go on top of the mascara I had yesterday, and the bottom, and the top. Ugh, makes my eyes water. Lastly, I'll be using Revlon in Nude in 001 for my lips. And I'll just dab it on on my bottom and my top. And to add a little shine, I'll be using e.l.f. Shimmer. It's a gloss on my lips. And finally, I'm going to be fixing my hair. Trying to make it seem that I actually did something to my hair and not just woke up in it. 
I'll be using the cheese straightener for my hair. Um, my hair is really curly, so it takes a long time, even with this really good straightener, to straighten my hair. Just basically straightening the important part. My hair is done. My makeup's done. I'm ready to start out my day. Just posing. Feel free to comment and subscribe and just give me some suggestions for what my next video will be about. Thanks for watching.